You know, traveling through a career, and I suspect there are a lot of um, young people in the room who are in high school or, or college or, or law school right now, you know, whether it's traveling through a career or just traveling through your life in school, that can seem like a maze in 3D, almost like a, a video game with a cruel sense of humor. <laughs> you bump up against a wall and you can't quite figure it out. You know, how do I move forward uh, without bouncing off yet another wall? How do I move forward? Sometimes it requires redefining what moving forward means. And so I'm going to tell you a story. Orrin Smith was the CEO of Starbucks when I first became uh, general counsel, the chief legal officer for Starbucks. And I got to tell you, I thought I was hot stuff. <laughs> I really did. You know, I was in my early 40s, and here I am, the top lawyer at one of the most iconic companies on the planet. Everybody knows Starbucks, and here I was, top dog. I thought I was something, right? Well, Oren was my boss, and one day he called me in to his office. I was like, oh God, am I in trouble? I didn't know. I came in and he sat me down. And he said, Paula, you and I are a lot alike. We've both made a lot of sacrifices in our life to get to where we are today. And here we are. I am at the top of my profession, and you are at the top of yours. But let me let you in on something. He said, you know, those, those tools and strategies and uh, mechanisms that helped you climb this mountain to this place, those aren't necessarily the tools and strategies that are the best for you now that you're here. I was offended <laughs> when he first said that. I, I was like, where does he come off? I, was, I, I really was upset. I was like, what is he saying to me? What he was saying to me was get over yourself. You are a leader who must see herself as a servant leader. And what does that mean? What it means is the people who were working for me are my customers. And I serve them. I don't even get a chance to call myself a leader unless I've got that mindset. It was one of the most important conversations I've ever had uh, in my career, and it stuck.